My name is Michael Windsor. I am a senior here at the University of Mary Washington. I am a recent convert to Catholicism, and I have been around the Catholic campus ministry for about a year and a half now. Uh, I was raised a Baptist. I grew up going to church semi-regularly, but some complications occurred in my family that resulted in me not being able to go to church for a while. And finally, when I was able to go back around the end of middle school, I decided to join the youth ministry. And when I joined, I found there was, uh, I wasn't really accepted as much. I was being pushed away and for just my absence for a while and the fact that I wasn't really, I didn't have an understanding on the level of the other, the other kids there. And I just felt like I didn't really belong. And because of that, I decided I'm just going to try and figure things out myself. So I'll study different religions, I'll study different ways of looking at the world through philosophy and ethics and try and figure something out. And I was in that position for a number of years. So I transferred to the University of Mary Washington in 2017 and, and I met this girl, her name was Elise and she was very active in the Catholic campus ministry and it was kind of interesting to me because I was like, I kind of like this girl, so what would it mean to date a Catholic? Uh, after Elise and I started dating, she invited me to go to a relationship talk that Father Vaccaro was having and I was a little bit apprehensive at first, uh, but I went and I was really surprised by how much I was agreeing with everything he was saying. I was like, this makes sense, I'm understanding these things and I can reason through all of this. So in 2018, Elise invited me to go to the Easter Vigil, and that was the very first Mass I ever attended. Elise sat me down with Emma Rakowski, who was a fellow classmate of mine, and she helped me to follow along with a liturgy and sort of uh, helped to describe some of the things that were going on to help me understand what was going on. And it was really moving in the moment. Even though I didn't fully comprehend everything, there was just definitely something there and that, I think, was magnified by the fact that the very next day I went to a sunrise service at the Baptist Church with my family. And while I was there, I didn't, I didn't feel the same things I felt the day before. There was definitely a, you know, a difference there, and I just really didn't understand what that was. But it was, I think, the, I think that was the moment where the seed of my interest in Catholicism kind of really took root. A couple weeks after the Easter Vigil, I decided to sign up for RCIA. I didn't really have any intention of becoming Catholic when joining RCIA, but I still wanted to go and just try to further my understanding of what my faith would be. There were very few times where I was objecting to things that were brought up by Father Vaccaro or anyone else in the class. I was actually very um, surprised that I could reason through all of the information provided to me and everything was kind of, kind of piecing together in a way that was just reasonable and made sense. I started to get more involved in the Catholic Campus Ministry and I was given the opportunity to go to Summit, which is a conference for Virginia Catholic Campus Ministries. And that was a very moving experience. I remember in adoration, I, I broke down. It was, there was so much, so many emotions, so many thoughts that we're just saying, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I think it's in that moment where I realized, I think I want to be Catholic. I decided to take a couple weeks to think it over. And every morning I wake up and the first thing I think is, I should be Catholic. <laughs> and that just kept persisting for a week or two. And eventually I just said, this is what I need to do. So I went to Father Vaccaro and said, I want to join the church. And he was like, let's do it. So to those who want to learn more about Catholicism, number one, I would say, 
do not Google it. You can come across a lot of things online that are not very credible and can mislead you. And I find that you just get so much better information from speaking with people, from getting to hear their perspectives and getting kind of talk things out with people. So I would say go to your Catholic campus ministry, find the individuals that are there, find your peers, speak with a priest, they're not that scary. Um, and just talk with people because you can learn so much more from those one-on-one -on -one conversations than you ever could trying to troll through a Wikipedia article.